Greetings. Salutations. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me here on my learning block. Today, we're going to learn about polygons. More specifically, we're going to learn about triangles. Now, triangles are a polygon that has three sides and three angles. Hence the word tri. Tri meaning three in Latin, I do believe. One of those romantic languages, you know. Well, anyway, let's get down to it. Now, today we're going to classify triangles. Now, when you're classifying triangles, when you're helping your child classify triangles, let them understand that there's two specific ways they can do it. One, they can classify triangles based on the sides of the triangles. And then secondly, they can also classify triangles based on their angles. There's a subject by the name of geometry where well, they'll have to use this stuff later on. Just laugh when you think about it. Well, anyway, um, so today we're going to focus on classifying triangles by their sides. Okay, we'll talk about angles in another video. Go check it out. All right, um, so we're going to focus on isosceles triangles. Iso meaning one, meaning there's one set of sides that are equal. Um, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides and two equal angles, generally speaking. If we look here, you can look at all three sides and this side is equal to this side and this side is not equal to either or, thus making it an isosceles, isosceles triangle. Again, we have an isosceles triangle here because we have those two sides are equal, those two angles are also equal, and that side is not the same. Now, um, when we're talking about isosceles triangles, it's one important fact to know that an equilateral triangle is an isosceles triangle. If you have an equilateral triangle, if your child is classifying an equilateral triangle, they can also determine that that equilateral triangle is an isosceles triangle. And that is simply for the fact that with their equilateral triangle, they still have two sides that are equal. Even though this extra side here is equal as well, that then puts it in the category of equilateral triangle. Therefore, all equilateral triangles are isosceles, but not all isosceles triangles are equilateral. Yes, I said it right. I, I've been practicing that. You have no idea. This is like my third take on this video because I, anyway, I'm excited I got that out right. All right, so what are nine non-examples of isosceles triangles? I'm glad you asked. These three triangles are not examples of isosceles triangles for the obvious reason, right? They don't have two sides that are equal. Here we have this side, this side, and this side are all three different sizes, therefore not isosceles. This triangle looks a little bit like it could be. However, this side and this side are not equal nor is that one, therefore it is also not an isosceles triangle. And then here we see these sides, all three are not equal as well. So that is not an isosceles triangle. Now, thank you again for joining me here on my learning block. I really look forward to seeing you next time. Please check out some other videos of of classifying um, and identifying triangles and go over to the resources and, and, and print out maybe a couple resources to help your child further understand the whole idea of identifying triangles. Thank you again for joining me here on my learning block. I will see you next time. Thanks for learning with me.